so we have to change this and uh, keep into one variable and then give the access that it user or admin okay so let's remove this file and control c control x and let's type one variable called user types okay is equal to and store the variable i mean store the value in this so i'm going to use this one and tell that the value if it is admin means it should execute this or else it should display me the content okay so that is admin and we are going to use called if else statement so i'm going to type if statement okay so that will be and again else so take this data user type not this this one okay so let's copy this paste it over here and let's tell is equal to this is user okay so it is user save this and now what we have to do is that so after this we are we are going to tell that if this location is over here then it should go to the index page okay so that is index page means block page so this is my block page right so this is my uh block page index.php file okay so index.php okay so i will tell to come over here so i'm going to copy this index file and paste it over here but this is actually inside admin folder so outside admin folder index.php file is there so what i'm going to do i'm going to give outside the folder okay so if it is a normal user he will uh come outside the blog or else he will go inside the admin panel only okay so it is inside the code login code which will go back to that admin.php file right so now user type but what value it is fetching that it doesn't know right so let's go to the our database and call this is user type okay so let's copy this okay so just take this name and put it over here okay so just call as user type right is equal to admin and if user type is equal to user okay so this is the way which we do for the rules and permission okay so now guys so it uh, let's save and let's check in okay so let's get back reload so let's type admin okay so this is the dashboard and it is telling me okay still did not log out okay so let's log in here so when i log in ved at gmail dot com okay one two three four so this is my value which i have stored over here say ved at gmail dot com one two three four and that is as user okay and this is as um admin okay so ved one is admin so let's type that ved one as admin and login so let's log in it is coming to the dashboard this is okay undefined variable session over here so let's go to that index.php file where is that okay it's here here so i'm going to start the session 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 start okay so let's start it reload what is this undefined function okay spelling is wrong so just remove that double r and put single r reload okay so undefined index user name it is telling on naba.php line 288 okay so guys um this is actually the session is not started so let's change that so let's go and check out why it is coming again because when i'm logging it it is telling me undefined index username okay so that means uh i have not started the session in code page okay so let's start the session in your code also session underscore start function okay save it 
and let's try once again so let's log out and so let's type ved1 at gmail dot com one two three four one two three four and let's log in and let's see yes okay so the name is shown over here if you want to know how to show this name just uh, follow that uh, previous video that is uh, how to make a login system with session okay so guys and in this now we are just doing that how to give a user authentication and security okay so guys now if i want to let's log out this okay so it is logged out so guys after logging in i should go to index.php otherwise if you are not logged logged in then it should come back to the login page right so let's go to index.php without logging in yes it is accessible okay but i want without login in i don't want to go in dashboard okay after logging only you should go so for that i uh, will do one session thing okay so let's create one file simple file inside admin folder i am going to create one file called security.php security security.php okay just give enter and security.php file is ready so guys now what i am going to do is that start php and end php so so i will start the session session oops session underscore start function okay and i am going to set that if our session is not set okay if our session that is username is session username okay is not set then it has to go do some action okay so this session username is nothing but from the login code when you logging in when you are logging in that time this session should be set okay so copy this copy and go to security.php and paste it okay go to paste it if it is not set then it should go to header that is header location location colon that is login login dot php file okay so this is the setting now so it is set and now what we have to do is that we will call this security file in every page okay so it should be accessible everywhere secured everywhere okay so like if i'm clicking index dot php without logging in okay dot php oops HP, okay. It is logging in directly, okay. So, but we want that without uh, logging in, it should not go to dashboard. So, for that, let's include this file into every page, okay. So, let me close this and open index.html file, index.php file, and instead of start session, just give include file that is. scurity security dot php file, okay. Security dot php file, right. So this file I'm calling into index page. So make sure you are calling this every file which you want, okay. So register, log out, every login code, login code. So there's a login code instead of start session. I'm going to give this file, okay. So done, and everywhere this. give off like register so i have given over here register register edit so it is done so everywhere you have to give right so for the security purpose uh so guys let's get back and let's reload the page okay so if i click index dot php and it will give redirecting me to the login page again okay so let's type once again index.php it is back to login page so when once i log in at gmail.com 1 2 3 4 log into the dashboard right so let's come back to the okay user who is the user 
home at gmail dot com. So let's copy this and log out. And let me log in as home at gmail dot com one two three six is the password. And let's log in. It is going to the dashboard because he's a user, not a admin. Okay. So let's get back to the login page and reload it. So let me log in once again with one at gmail dot com one two three four so he's admin so once i click login he's admin okay so now uh, let's try with the error wrong id okay so i'm going to put koli at gmail dot com one two blah blah and let's login it and it is showing invalid email id i mean password is invalid okay so guys now so guys and uh, now it is completed that we have completed how to give a user access okay so it's just a simple code we have to just type with this and check the correct condition if it is a user log into this page and others if it is a normal admin he should log into the index page okay dashboard page so guys and uh, thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share so thank you once again